I'm really nervous about doing this. I really am. If I can keep a steady hand. It's a bit muggy outside, so we're not gonna do any like glory riding around in our new built-engine Odin Supercharged 2019 Mustang GT, but we are not going to let the weather stop us. We are going to do a couple of modifications today. Try to open up the front of the car here today. With the Odin Supercharger, we have the VMP Triple Bypass Heat Exchanger, and unfortunately, it doesn't really live up too high. Most of it is down behind the crash bar and everything. But yes, we're gonna install this, so that'll take care of the upper portion of the airflow. Make it look a little bit more aggressive. Yes, very common mod. I don't have to go step by step on how to install one of these, because I've actually done it before. In the last video, if you guys missed it, this is another carbon fiber hood from Anderson Composites, the GT350 style. The thing is, a buddy of mine sold it to me for $500, so I couldn't pass it up. I was kind of done with a carbon fiber exposed hood deal, but I mean, look at it. And anyway, so we're gonna go to the bottom of the grill here, and what I'm going to try to do, now if I mess this up, I'll just buy a new one, no big deal. But I've watched a couple of videos and I'm gonna try to translate my own method onto camera so you guys can follow along. I'm gonna try to cut out all of this honeycomb. We're going to attempt to open up the airflow a little bit more. A lot of guys will spend a lot of time drilling out or dremeling out every bit of the closed honeycomb area to include like places like here, maybe up around there, and then, you know, so on and so forth. Now, the reason that some of it is enclosed like that, mostly for aerodynamics, but we want airflow because this is where the VMP heat exchanger lives, right behind all of that. So we wanna open this up as much as possible and then be able to cool off the blower as much as possible for lower IATs. Yes, the weather's a bit muggy outside. I know it looks bright and sunny, but it's not. Yeah, we're gonna get to work. We're gonna start modding. And the grill, I'm just gonna go through it, maybe a little bit of time lapse. I'm not really sure at this point yet. When we get to this portion down here, I'm going to try to make it step by step so you guys can follow along. And I guess if I mess it up, it will, you know, show on camera my failure. But uh, hopefully, hopefully we have success. It already looks pretty badass, but let's try to take it up a notch. Let's go. We can get a better look at the VMP heat exchanger and how a bunch of it is actually behind this crash bar. This is pretty cool. We get a kind of an angle of our whoever on our water lines so or ice tank. Video coming up here in the not so distant future on how we ran this, how it works, but we want to have a little bit more open flow, kind of like maybe the Roush bottom balance does, or maybe even the Cervini's. The difference though on the Cervini's is the sides here are opened up as well. Now, so to prevent from like bumper flex, if you run the bottom, you have to run the support brackets that come with them. Now, I can't do that with this car because we have a BMR K member. I don't have that luxury. So I think that if we just get rid of the honeycomb here, right, we leave the sides just like they are. We still have all of that structure, that support. I mean, you can kind of get the idea of what we're gonna be doing. So next step is really just to get rid of all of this stuff carefully pry all of these little tabs loose get both the bottom and the upper grill out and go from there so kind of a cool shot though the heat exchanger here and how it all looks but yeah we need more airflow especially in these hot summer days so all right let's get to tearing things apart i guess and uh hopefully don't break nothing got it uh, all loose these pieces have been out of my bumper before so it's a little bit easier for me you've never done this before it will be a little bit more tricky my advice is to they just kind of pry out from these these little clips here right and so my advice is to just go like start on one side and continue to work don't go like here here and it work towards the middle my advice is to go from here and work to one side prying away and then you just using your thumb to push it down push down so it took me about five minutes not too bad but for anybody that's doing this for the first time it's probably gonna take you like 30 to 45 <laughs> it's really a pain in the butt the first time honestly but anyway so what we want to do is measure three four five times before we start cutting right i'm going to figure this out i'm going to use some tape as like you know a boundary 
and figure out where I want to make my cuts on this and uh, we'll update the camera as we go so you guys can follow along. Maybe you'll like the way it looks at the end of it. Uh, this is pretty hard, right? So the Cervini stuff is a definitely a softer, like um, a more flexible material than like the OEM hard plastics. I mean, this is really tough. So I think that cutting out this center section is really not gonna give up very much rigidity. A lot of people do it. I think we're just gonna fall in their footsteps and uh, hope for the best. But you know, if we screw it up, these are like 60 bucks or so brand new. And uh, we'll just get another one and try it again. Or leave it alone, you know. Use this video as reference if we have success. So, all right, let's get to cutting. Pretty much good to go with lines. Use some painter's tape to get the edges pretty much even. If you look through here, it might be really hard to tell. So I was contemplating going like this, so maybe drilling out there to give a little bit more depth this way. But the problem is that the honeycomb actually exceeds further back than the bottom of the grill here, if that makes any sense. So I think the only way to really do this properly is come straight down okay and then i've got sandpaper so we can make it smooth and look factory at the end of it but i think that this is really going to aid and especially down here because half of this is closed off and i get this is for aerodynamics and everything but we want more flow this is not the car and it's like in a condition anymore you know we we need to be able to cool off all the power that we have all right let's get started let's uh if i mess this up uh, it's gonna suck but we could just always replace this if i screw it up i guess before I do this, I need some eye protection, 100%. I'm really nervous about doing this. I really am. If I can keep a steady hand. Right, guys here we are the next day it's a bit windy outside but let's get out here real quick hopefully the wind doesn't kill the audio take a look at what we've done so you guys can see the finished result how it all looks take a look at this yeah it looks a lot more aggressive now with the Cervini's upper grill delete and with the bottom cut out we see a little of the red tabs from the bumper poking through so, you know i could have made this a little better right here again i could always perfect this it's my first time guys but i think what we need to do is find some more uh, honeycomb grill and then complete the look down here so that it will match i love the way the Cervini's looks it's my favorite looking grill i hate the way that it bolts in but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, the grill's been out for years at this point. So, but I mean, it looks pretty good. We could take it up a notch and make this a little bit more stealthy and paint the uh, intercooler there, the heat exchanger, you know, black or something like that if we wanted to. But I kind of like the way that it looks. So let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, it's pretty easy to do a modification like this. Once you get the bumper off, it takes you honestly about 20 minutes to, uh, cut out the lower grill it's really not that bad really not that scary i could definitely do it again and probably do it better you know the second time around i think it looks good let me know in the comments what do you think i do think that we need to find some lower honeycomb mesh to make the look a little bit more uniform i think that needs to definitely happen and keep debris and stuff like that out of that area again you know this kind of mimics like the roush you know bottom balance where it's completely open you know there is a pro and con to everything you know i'll see you guys in the next video take care have a great day god bless you until next time